I mean, more minutes into the legs on a win tonight. Are you happy with that or what to do still? Um, I think the shoot's uh, optimism there, but like Gaffer's just had a word with players there. Look, we, we didn't think them levels were good enough really tonight. Um, you can make excuses about being leggy. We've still got extra work to do, but there's some positives there. Um, and it's now our job down to work with players and make them realise about a group where we need to add a little bit of quality. I thought first half a little bit, we didn't look after ball well enough. Uh, tidy up passes weren't good enough. However, we could have been a couple of goals up in that first period. And I think that if we want to be where we want to be this season, we need to be a little bit more clinical. Um, however, everybody's come through it unscathed and we go again Saturday. Is that the main positive or are there other areas of the play you can take away and look at fondly from tonight? Yeah, there's other areas of play. I thought Birdie were good in, in middle at Park. Um, obviously, we're experimenting a little bit with, with Nat up top, but I think he's probably a little bit more comfortable playing as a 10. Um, it were more minutes for a back three that hadn't really played much together. Um, so, yeah, there, there is there is a lot of optimism. Ward is obviously delivery and looks a threat when he goes forward. He's um, he's created a couple of goals for us already pre-season. So, yeah, look, we've got six players who, who haven't obviously played tonight. I think you saw it last half an hour with young lads coming on, which is a great experience for them. And obviously Brad come on and who's, who's going to um, monitor them young lads and help them. And it's a great pro for them to listen to. So, obviously, it's a great experience for them. Um, so, yeah, there is positives. And I don't want to come across too negative. But um, we just feel like we probably need to be better. However, we're still two weeks away from from first game of the season. Another goal for James Collins, another one laid on by Joe Ward. They seem to be linking up quite nicely. Yeah, well, Ward has got good delivery, hence why we signed him. Um, he's positive, he's stopped forward thinking. Um, great delivery, great area. And Collo were in a great position to score. So he took it well. So, yeah, the, yeah, look, like I said, there's a lot of positives to come out of it. Um, but there's areas that we feel we need to crank up and be better come first game of the season. I guess that's where the work on the training ground takes you now. What's the focus over these next few weeks? Um, well, focus will be to, to knit everything together, really. Um, I, I still think that there's times when we press, we all don't latch on. There's times when we could tidy up pass a little bit better. There's times where I think we can make a, a threatening pass rather than play a little bit safe. So, look, there's, there's loads of things we can work on, and lads know that, and look, we're not expecting to come here tonight and see football utopia. We've brought a lot of players in. Um, everything's kind of culminating together slowly. We would all like for everybody to hit ground running. However, that is never the case. We've been in this situation before and um, we know, as I said, come first game, everybody will know the roles. Everybody knows what's expected. And it's us getting to know lads and lads getting to know us. Obviously, we've got a group who were with us last year, so know it. Um, they're helping new lads as new lads are helping the lads who were here last season um, to succeed and, and that's what, what we have to do looking forward I guess it makes it that bit more difficult to knit things together when you've got four or five absent like you do at the moment yeah and, and look they're nothing serious they're just little small niggles which you always get pre-season but I think you can I mean look I think Chesterfield will have a really good season this season you can see squad they've got you can see players they're bringing off bench um, and as I said look we, we had six out if we brought them six in tonight our team for second half would look way different than what it would I mean people like Tomo has been excellent but he's played every minute of pre-season so far and ideally we'd like to monitor minutes a little bit more than we are but that's no excuse they're fit enough um, it's just down to us probably knitting everything together but as I said there's a lot of positive things to take out of it um, but we want perfection <laughs> um, and there's nothing wrong with that we'll keep striving for it Quick turnaround for Saturday. How do the bodies recover and go again in just three days' time? Well, I'm sure Fozzie will be fine because obviously it's a big night for him. Um, but no, everybody will be fine. Everybody come, come through it unscathed. Obviously, um, it'd be great for Fozzie. I think he's, he, he deserves it. He's been a great servant at football club. Um, it's a little bit of a plea, really, for all Derby fans to come out and thank him. It'd be really good for it to get as many people there as we can for him. But it'll be another occasion that is a pre-season game, but obviously... Um, it's Craig Forsyth's testimonial first and foremost and we want to make sure that he has a, him and his family have a good day How much have you enjoyed working with Fossey over the last coming up to a year now? Oh, he's a great lad he, he, he's Derby through and through he, he loves the club he obviously lives in area he's really good around place I thought at times last year he were outstanding when we, we certainly come in um, and I don't think some 
when you watch his game, some people probably wrote him off a little bit before we come in. So the fact he's bounced back shows what character he's got. He's a bit of a Rolls Royce when he's got ball, if I'm going to be honest. Um, but more, more so than that, he's just a great lad who loves club. And as I say, it'd be great if as many Derby fans can come in and thank him for his services to football club.